new venue. I'm not giving away this location. This one's going to be called the Secret Lake. Vlog one. It is Friday, and I'm here till Monday. So three days. Um, fish go to just under 30 in here. Got some beautiful looking fish in here. Hopefully, I'll get one of the good looking ones. No, me, I'll get the ugly ones. <laughs> So, yeah, the chug is the bug, as they say. Um, let's rip some lips. Catch you in a bit. Love it, how? Well, <laughs> Just having 40 winks, I go on. Okay. I don't want a bath. <laughs> yeah, just having 40 winks and because uh, I work working nights and that. Then uh, got interrupted by this uh, angry little common. Common interrupt us. <laughs> yeah. One nil. Yeah, it's a little common club. There you go. Better than that, isn't it? It's a fish. It's a fish. Fudge monkey, fudge monkey, fudge monkey! Get it out of the bag. Get the handles on, lads. Showed you how to do that, it's not rocket science. There you go, handles are on. Spin it round. Ribeye steak tonight. Let's get this bad boy on the grill. Mushrooms. Put some mushrooms in. I like mushrooms. Can you tell? Right. Some salt and pepper. Bit more pepper. Down with the lid. Normally give it a couple of minutes on each side. Don't have your pan too hot. Turn that down. That's plenty. Right, so come back to you in a minute when it's uh, halfway through. <laughs> Great these little utensils. You get four. There you go. Two spoons, two spatulas. Shut this down, spin it round. Have a look at that side. Oh yes, look at that.
What a lovely night, look at that. The werewolves will be out tonight in droves. <laughs> right, I've just put out about a dozen balls of ground bait, so let's see what happens. Morning. Right, Saturday morning. It's half past five. First brute of the day. Oh, I was knackered yesterday, this most of the day sleeping. But yeah, um, just the one fish up to now. Uh, it got very busy yesterday. Uh, every peg's full on here now. So apparently, like I say, it's the first time I fish this lake. Apparently, what happens is when it gets busy, the fish go in the deeper water and salt. So, fortunately, I am in the deeper water. I have got that area in front of me. So. I put a bit of bait in last night, um, probably around about a dozen uh, balls, uh, ground bait balls, with um, a bit of corn in, a bit of chopped boily, a bit of hemp, all mixed in to ground bait. Um, catapulted the balls out to the spot, so hopefully I should pick something up from there this morning. Let's just see what happens, but up to now, just the one fish. Brian's not got any of his yet. But like I say, this time yet, so happy days. Um, not much more I can say to be honest. Um, I'm on the boa rig, so hopefully, um, they haven't seen the boa rig in here. Hopefully, nobody's been using it, so I should be able to snare one or two on that. Um, well, I have already snared that common that I've had that was on the boa rig, so that it's working in here. So hopefully, I'll get another one. Let's wait and see what happens. So. Let's rip some lips. Well, morning, Saturday morning. What time is it? It's half six. Just having a brew with Brian and left rod shot off. Oh, it's seven o'clock. Seven o'clock. Yeah, left rod shot off. Been a quiet night. Um, not much been out all over the lake, probably one fish. Uh, it got very busy and I think the fish went sulking, so. But just had an absolute unit. One of the target fish straight away. One of the ones that uh, I'm trying to catch, well I've been trying to catch. This is an absolute beauty. Look at that. That is a beauty, isn't it? That's uh, a linear ghosty. Mint. Spin it round and show you the other side. Probably around about 18 pound. I'm going to take some photos. Doing it, isn't it? I don't know. Don't stick them off that. It'd be nice to have a couple of stills, stills. But if. Uh, I'll just stop and then. Today, not zoom in, just get closer. Right. Yes. Yeah. There he goes. Good head. Oh, 
at the way she goes. The way she goes. Smile for the camera. <laughs> Ho 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 Bacon! Making bacon. Oh, yeah. Back in a bit. Oh. Multi Light Plus from Ridge Monkey. <laughs> Instructions? Don't read them. Oh, look at that. In the box we have charging lead, a metal thing because it's magnetic, so you can put that on your bivvy. Hang it on your bivvy ceiling with the magnet, or there is a ring on it, you can hang it up on a hook if you've got a hook. And also the brackets, which I've just thrown on the floor. There's the bracket that screws into the side of the ridge monkey, like so. You can put that on a bank stick, like so, and you can stick it in the ground and shine it over to the island if you was trying to cast at night to the island because you've got a diffuser on that as well so take that diffuser off that diffuser so yeah happy days looks a bit good bit of kit this on off button charging charging socket there and it's uh, waterproof, torch at the front. I believe this is red, green and white. So I think the best thing to do is wait till it's dark tonight and I'll finish the review off in the dark, showing you just how good it is. Okay, so catch you when it's dark. <laughs> well, Ridge Monkey Review Part Two. And that's the white part. And that's the red. Do the green now. There's your green. There's your bright green. The flashing white one. That's your torch. I'll show the torch in a minute. So you've got white. And bright white. Red. 
and bright red. Green and bright green. And you can also hang it up, so if you hang it up, I mean you can hang it up up there on your bivvy. Well bright that isn't it? Happy day. The Ridge Monkey Multi Light Plus. Right, let's take it outside and I'll show you it uh, working on the torch. And uh, if you was cast into that area over there, look, as you can see, that's quite good. So it just enables you to cast. I'll try the island in the, in the middle. Don't know if you can see the island. There, look. That's the island. So yeah, that's got quite. That's about. That island's about sixty yards, and you can see that as plain as anything for casting. So yeah, bloody good torch. So there, yeah, there you have it. Uh, the Ridge, Ridge Monkey Multi Light. I'm happy with it. Would I buy it? Yes. Would I recommend it? Yes. Uh, don't forget it's rechargeable as well by the mains so you can recharge it up. I don't know how many hours you're going to get out of it. I've not got a clue. Uh, I can tell you that the white light will last the longest. Uh, the red will, and green won't. Um, that for some reason tends to burn the battery. But if you've got it on the white at night, about three or four days, easy. Easy. So, yeah. Happy days. Get to the shop and get one. 39.99. Morning. Sunday morning. Yeah. Uh, from 4am till 6am. Two hours. The ducks have absolutely mullered my swim. Beep, 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 beep. All three rods. Triple takes. <laughs> oh, nightmare. I'm well, going to have to come off the gravel bar and go over the back of it, I think. Um, these baby ducks are a nightmare. Uh, yeah, so. Plan B today. Don't fish on the bar, fish over the back of it. And let's see what happens for the last 24 hours. Catch it a bit. Making a bacon butty <laughs> on the old uh, on the new Ridge Bunky and uh, left rod shot off. Resulting in another feisty little common. There you go. That, that. Yep. <laughs> you want a bit of water, bro? I'm not right with that camera. Oh dear. Oh, Mr. Angry. <sighs> yeah. Come on. I 
happy days. I'm not weighing it. Look at that. This week's treat of the week is Tunnock's Caramels. Oh yeah. Now then, there's a bit of a hack with these that oh, we was doing 10, 15 years ago. Absolutely. There's quite a few people recently been doing this, the same sort of hack, but uh, the hack has been going for years. There you go. Look at that. Look at it. Oh, ho, ho. Let's get this bad boy open. Oh, ho, ho, look at that. Now then, in here we have, I'll read it out to you. It's a caramel chocolate, it's a milk chocolate coated caramel wafer biscuit. And they're not for the faint hearted. These are absolutely fantastic. Now what you do, you get your biscuit and you bite both ends off. Mm. Savour the moment. Mm. Mm. Oh my God. I've not had one of these for about three years. Oh, oh, mm. right, try it. Got the ball pen. We've got to have a cup of tea with it. Put it in and suck it through. Oh, oh. and then. Mm. Oh my god. Mm. Oh, that was big. Mm. A bit messy. Oh, oh but oh my god. Oh. Now, if you've never tried that, you must try it. Must. Oh. So remember, if you're looking for a carpy treat on the bank, you won't go far wrong with these. Get yourself a packet. And by the way, they're made in Scotland from Gunters. <laughs> Catch you next time. So. Godzilla time! <laughs> 6 30 a.m. Monday morning, day three. Time to go home. It's been a learning curve. Um, I've had three carp. <coughs> Biggest was 18.4. Very ghosty, linear, beautiful fish. Was, uh, one of the target fish on the first session, it's not bad. So, there's a few more to go at yet. So, up to about £29, I think they are. So, bring on the next session. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna like this venue. They all seem nice, uh, friendly lads on here. The owners are okay, nice bloke. Yeah, happy days. Catch you in a bit. Hitchhiker. What? Do one. <laughs> oh. Almost done. When you fish in, you get faced with such adversity. The only thing I can say is keep moving forward. Infinite anti reverse. Become one with your equipment and turn into a fishing machine.